Hello girls and guys, now we have our app created, Meteor installed, and then we are ready to start to think about our database. Uh, let me open my project here, as I said, I'm using WebStorm, and now we are going to speed up a little bit, because as I said, this series is not to teach you like all the details, it's just to show you how I create a real project, and then I'm just going to, to go straight away for collections, and then I'm using MongoDB, that's the default of Meteor, but you can change if you want, but I don't want. But I'm not going to use like new Mongo collection like this, because I already know why you need some packages and like schema validations and other stuff. Then I'm going to go to Quav Dev. And then we have like Quav is, is my company. Uh, and I'm going to check a few packages that we have. And we have a lot of packages here. Then the one that I'm looking for, it's called Collections, and it's here. And as it, the name says, it's a helper that you can use to have schemas, types, helpers, hooks, composers in your collections. And here we have a lot of explanation, but I'm not going to go over the details here because I created this package, then I know how to use it. Then I'm going to open here, and then I'm going to add this package to my project, Meteor Add Quav Collections. Again, I'm going to speed up because the idea here is to show how to create a real app and not to teach you all the details. Okay, Quav Collections also depend on settings. That is a package from Quav as well. And we have other options here. Let me just review if I need these options right now. Like I don't want to use collection hooks, but I want to use uh, collection two and also simple schema so I can validate what I'm adding to the database. Then I'm going to add LDD collection too, and I'm also going to install simple schema. Um, the helpers I'm not going to use right now, and you have like some friendly errors if I forgot to, to add the helpers. And then I can just uh, add later because I'm going to show an error message because this package is throwing errors if it, you are missing dependencies. And my video was turned off, now it's turned it on, then you can see me. Hi. Uh, okay, let me go back to my WebStorm. Okay, I'm also going to install Simple Schema. That, what's the idea of Simple Schema, right? I'm just adding a lot of stuff here, but I'm going to show you that Simple Schema, it, it was like a mature package in the early days, but then later it migrated to NPM, and that's fine because both work well with mature. Then the idea here, and probably they have a good example here, is to validate the data. Like, okay, I have a name and my object should have a name. Then we can validate if this object has a name, like here. Then you can pass any object and it's going to validate if the name is here because you put the name as a string. Then it validates the type. You can define like allowed values, then it's pretty useful. And because of that, I'm going to use it. And how I use this with Quav Collections, then you can see an example here and it's pretty straightforward. Let's do it. I will just copy this. Again, I'm not trying to teach you every step. I'm just showing you how you, I do this on my real projects. Then, okay, uh, first let's try to think about how we want to have this project. Like, what's the idea here? If you remember about our first document, I don't know if I still have it. Oh, I have it. Let me grab here to this page. Then let's try to think this about in a database way. Then like we have the modules, uh, but maybe I'm going to call this module as groups. Then it's very generic and I, I don't care about the details right now. Then I'm going to call this as a topic maybe, and then I can call this as a content. What do you think? Like group, then I have a group and a group can have multiple topics and a topic can have multiple contents. I think that's the idea. That's what I have in my mind. As always, you can join the Discord and you can say, okay, I don't agree with this. Like, I think your approach is wrong. And if you go fast enough, maybe you can fix uh, in this first version. If you just, if you are watching this later, it's probably already done, but you can rethink our decisions as well. And today is October 14, just so you know. Okay, then that's the idea, group, topic, and content. I don't like to have like a lot of collections in the same file. Then I'm going to have like a groups, collection. And I also always name the file with the same exact name as the main function or whatever I'm exporting from this file that I'm using group collection. 
Then I just want to go simple here. I don't pretend to export this schema. Then I'm going to remove this. It's important to have this import here if you want to, to reproduce what I'm doing. Uh, groups collection. Then that's our first collection. That's the name that's going to MongoDB. And for now, I, I know for sure that I need a name. Otherwise, it would be impossible to see this group. And I think that's enough. Then I also have my topics, right? Okay. Then I'm also going to put my top tier and it's called tops and it also has a name, but I know for sure that this guy also has something that's called a group ID because I don't want a top that's anywhere. I want always to have a top inside a group. Then I'm going to add as a type string. It probably has like a MongoDB ID on simple schema. MongoDB ID. ID, I don't know if they have it, but it's not really important for me because the ID is going to be generated by MongoDB anyway. The important part for me is just that I need to have one ID here, then I'm going to use uh, a string. But it's important to remember that if I want to have like an option that is not required, I should use option true, but I this is required. And that's very important because if you're creating your schema and you're not thinking about like option or required, like What's the point to have a schema? Like you need to validate something, then it's in part to, to pay attention. And the last one will be contents. You see me using the plural here because it's the pattern that I would like to follow. And you can see also that I'm going lowercase here and, and to match exactly the same name. And of course, I'm not going to use a contents collection because it's inside MongoDB, but in my code, I'm using contents collection because I want my UI to have the like the bare name. If I want to have a list of contents, I can just call contents. And then my collection is always going to have this suffix as collection, but my UI or other elements, I don't need to have this suffix because in the end, I want to have unique file names. And you're going to see the way that I use the IDE will be pretty useful to have unique names. Then you can have autocomplete and everything in a nice way. Then I'm also going to have a top KD. Then just returning to our mockup here, then we have the group. A group can have a top and can have a content or multiple content, right? I can also map the other way around. I could add a list of topics here. Like, okay, then this content, it has like topics IDs and it will be the type array, but I don't want to do, do this right now because I'm not really thinking yet about the, the screen and how I'm going to render this. Then I'm just worried about my database. And for my database, this is more than enough. I just need to have one way to map this data together. And that's it for now. And I think we are ready here and how you can test this. Like it's for, in my case, I don't want to test this because I know it's working, but let's do just like to a, uh, a mind check here and send it check. Let's see if I do like an insert in this collection, if they're working and that's it. But it's like not really important just because I'm recording, then I can show to you that I, that this is working, but I know it's working and maybe I can, you can have a few left left in a few moments because if it's not working, it would be pretty funny. And then like, let's put some topic here and the topic is not going to work because by purpose, I'm going to use just top key and I know I need to have a group ID and also in the content, I need to have a top key ID. Then let's just run first and it's going to fail. But just one part is going to fail. The second part is going to work. Then I'm going to run my project. In parallel, I'm going to open my local database here. I use NoSQL Buster. I use a paid version here, but you can also use a free version if you prefer. The paid version will have some additional features. I'm, I'm not, I don't remember exactly right now. Meteor by default runs in this part. Okay. If I'm going too fast, even if I want to go fast, but if I'm going too fast, please also, join the Discord in the description. And Philip, you are going too fast. Then it's useless that you are recording because you are not getting what you are saying. Okay. Then if you see my main server code, it's starting and it's here. And as I said, it's going to fail in the second part. Then the group part worked. If you see here, I can see my group and it's working. It's beautiful. The idea is here, as I said, uh, but like the top is not working because we are missing a group ID. Okay. Then again, it's the validation and it's what you really expect. 
Then just to finish our this video, let's put a group ID here and the return of the insert, if it's success, it's a, it's a successful insert is the ID. Then you can just use group ID. Like you don't need to repeat group ID, group ID because you can have the short name because it's the same in both sites. Uh, and also we can have like the contents and I'm going to do the same. Are you see that, can you see that I'm auto completing stuff and the importing is going to be auto generated for me? That is done by WebStorm. I don't need to worry about imports and anything like this. It's just resolving this for me and I'm just using my keyboard and I'm not going back and forth to add stuff. Uh, and this is a content. And now we should see this working. Let's see if this is working. It should restart and meter is pretty fast. It's already there and the app started. Then probably we don't have any error here. I will have like two groups probably because the first one I didn't delete it. Okay. And I don't have any constraints. Then I can have groups with the same name. I think that's also fine for now. Links is just a uh, default collection from Meteor. I'm going to drop it. I'm not using it. Just to have a clear view here. Then we have content with this this topic and you have topic with this group and you can check like this is the same ID A5 and is the same ID A5 here. This is the first one that I created and I don't need to remove it because it's going to produce on another one, another one and another one all the time that I restart. But then you can see like it's working. That, that was the idea of this video to show how to set up a database with validation and if you see uh, I don't have a Git repo yet, then I can show like what are the additions in this lesson, in this series. But here, like we just have a few files here and it's working, integrated with our database, with validation. That's well, pretty cool. And it's possible because of Meteor and also because of this Quav package that we have here that's pretty straightforward to use. See you in the next video where we are going to, to improve a little bit our code and maybe to add Git and Prettier. Let's see. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.